Good morning, dear students. I hope you are fine and taking care of yourself. Let us start the class today. Today we are going to learn about symmetry from the second chapter, uh, that is patterns. Okay. So we are going to learn in details. Before starting the class, let us take a short recap of what we have learned in the previous class. In the previous class, we have learned about patterns. So what is a pattern? An arrangement of images, shapes, objects or design is known as patterns. Patterns we have got two that is natural and man-made or artificial patterns. And we have also drawn some patterns in lines and shapes. Okay. In the first chapter, we have got about symmetry and reflection. And uh, what is reflection? Reflection we got when an image is placed in front of a mirror, we get a mirror image. Okay. And the line is known as line of reflection. Symmetry also we got in the first chapter. But here we are going to learn in uh, details about what is symmetry and what are the parts of symmetry. So what is symmetry? Symmetry means when we divide an object into two equal parts. Okay, that one we got in the first chapter. But now, an object we can divide into more than two or three equal parts. That means an object we can separate them into equal parts and that equal parts can be either two, three or four. Okay, so that is known as symmetry. And the line which divides the objects into two equal parts or equal parts is known as line or axis of symmetry. So the line which divides is known as the line or axis of symmetry. Okay. Now I have taken here some 2D figures here. The first is a rectangle, triangle and circle. Okay. So the rectangle we know uh, when we divide in this line we get two equal parts that is left and right. When we divide them in the middle then we get the top and the bottom. Okay. The triangle. The triangle we can divide it only in one way that is from uh, into left and right equal parts and uh, then we get uh, two equal parts that means two symmetrical objects. Circle or uh, circle or the alphabet O or the number zero has got uh, we can divide either in this way or in the middle. So, dividing the line object in this or this way uh, has got names. Okay. The first one is known as the vertical symmetry. Okay. That is dividing from, uh, dividing an object into left and e uh, right equal parts. And an object which we can divide into top and bottom uh, is known as the horizontal symmetry. Okay. So, let us look at some objects or shapes and words as well where we can have vertical and horizontal uh, line of symmetry. For the vertical symmetry, uh, we have taken the circle or you can say O or 0. Okay. So, when I take the vertical symmetry, I draw a line in the middle. Okay. So, I draw a line and I get equal parts, the left and the right. Okay. The alphabet, English alphabet W, I take here. See? So, this is the vertical line of symmetry for the word W, for the alphabet. Okay. So, I get equal parts both on the left and right hand side. For the triangle, we have to draw in this way. So, that we get a vertical line of symmetry and equal parts. Now, I have taken an English uh, word that is WOW, W O. Uh, w O W. Okay, and we have to check whether this object is symmetrical or not. Okay, so when we when uh, when I draw in this way, I can get a W and a W, and the O is cut in the middle. That means the left is equal to the right hand side. Whatever I am getting in the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. That means this word W O W is have got a vertical line of symmetry and the word I can say is symmetrical. Okay. Now let us come to the next one that is horizontal symmetry. Okay. I have taken the word or uh, the alphabet B. So if I take in this vertical line that it is not a symmetrical object. Okay, suppose I am taking B and I draw a vertical line of symmetry. The left and the right parts are not equal. 
that means it is not symmetrical. The correct answer for that is I have to cut in the horizontal way and the top and the bottom parts are equal. Then I can say the word B, uh, the alphabet B has got a horizontal uh, line of uh, symmetry and the uh, alphabet is symmetrical. Similarly for X, I have to cut in this way. The alphabet is symmetrical. For the square, I can take symmetrical. Now, the word dice I have taken for horizontal. That means if I draw a line in this way and I run exactly through the middle, that means the word dice has got top and bottom equal parts. That means it has got a horizontal line of symmetry. In this way, we can identify for alphabets, for letters, for numbers, even words. And we can identify whether the object, uh, or the object or the word is symmetrical or not, and what kind of symmetry, a line of symmetry they have. Yeah, that in this way we can identify that whether it has got vertical line of symmetry or horizontal line of symmetry. Okay, so you can say these dotted lines are known as line or axis of symmetry and the line whether it is dividing into left and right equal parts are known as vertical symmetry and the line which is dividing the objects into equal top and uh, bottom equal parts are known as horizontal line of symmetry okay one more question some of the objects might have more than one line of symmetry Suppose the rectangle, the rectangle has got two lines of symmetry. Whether you divide in this way or this way, we can get equal parts. But for a triangle, the line of symmetry is only one. Okay, suppose I take a triangle and I divide it in the horizontal way. We don't get equal parts. That means it doesn't have a horizontal line of symmetry. It has got only the vertical line and yes, it has got only one line of symmetry. The circle has got two lines of symmetry. We know for the, for the circle or O or 0, it has got more than two lines of symmetry. Okay, we can divide in this way, in this way. Okay, so in this way, uh, we know for sure that a circle has got two lines of symmetry. But there, uh, if in the exam, if a question comes, which object has got more than two or four lines of symmetry, we can say it is the circle. Okay, now in the question, some question, uh, uh, in the exam, some questions might come to complete the pattern, okay, the, uh, to complete the object and the line of symmetry will be given whether or vertical or horizontal, okay. So you have to complete them, alright. So it is very interesting and easy as well. You can do it. Uh, I have taken one half glass and one half flower here and the vertical and horizontal line of symmetry is given. So we have to complete it. So how do we complete it? We know the other part for that is we have to draw the circle. Okay. And we have to complete it. In this way, we can say that the glass has got the vertical line of symmetry and both are equal parts. The next is for the flower, we have to complete in this way and we can get the other part of the symmetrical object. In this way, we can find uh, how many, what are the lines of symmetry for the particular word or object, alright? So, it is very interesting and fun, the symmetry topic is. So, you can do of your own and uh, you can ask me or message me if you have any doubt. And um, before concluding the class, uh, let us take a short recap. Uh, let us uh, summarize what we have learned. The first is symmetry. What is a symmetry? A uh, line which divides an object into equal parts are known as uh, symmetry. The two new words you learned today are vertical and horizontal. That is the two parts of symmetry. The vertical is dividing an object into left and right equal parts. And the horizontal is dividing an object into top and bottom equal parts. Okay. And we can also draw the other part of an image if a line of symmetry is given. And remember, there are many words will be given in the book or in the workbook. You just find out and after drawing the symmetry, the line of symmetry, just check the both the parts are equal or not. Alright. With this, I conclude my video for today. Thank you and have a nice day.